Representative Jim Sensenbrenner, a U.S. Congressman from Wisconsin, is with us now. He is the primary author of the Patriot Act. Did you know the extent to which the administration was collecting data? Absolutely not. And apparently neither did the FISA court because the opinion of the FISA chief judge that was declassified yesterday rebuked President Obama and Eric Holder's Justice Department for misleading the FISA court and the submissions that it made for the alleged authorization of this. The NSA is out of control. And the time has come not only to revise the Patriot and Foreign Intelligence and Surveillance Act, but I think we're going to have to completely revamp and uh, uh, ramp down the NSA, which is not supposed to be spying on Americans, but is supposed to be dealing with foreign intelligence. And the, these new revelations leave no question in your mind that the NSA has been spying on Americans? Well, sure, the new revelations. Uh, say that they've been picking up domestic emails. And while email traffic is subject to different Fourth Amendment protections, uh, the fact is, is that while what they're doing may be constitutional, it is lousy public policy, and Big Brother shouldn't be able to get into domestic emails of people who have absolutely nothing to do with terrorism. But this is an outrage, and the president should start rolling heads in his intelligence operation and in the NSA. But, but let me play devil's advocate. You've heard what the administration has said uh, that if they're going to find a, a terrorism needle in a haystack of data, first they need to gather the haystack. No, they don't need to get, gather the haystack. They need to see who has been uh, targeted as a foreigner who is a target of an authorized intelligence investigation, which is what the Patriot Act intended them to do. Uh, if the haystack was so good, then how come the Tsarnaev brothers ended up falling through the haystack and uh, conducting a terrorist strike on the Boston Marathon? Well, we mentioned that you were uh, the primary author of the Patriot Act. In what ways have they gone beyond what, what you and Congress, in your view, intended? Well, they've completely tipped over the standard of relevance beyond what's in the dictionary and what common sense says. What the Patriot Act said is if there was a foreigner, meaning not a U.S. citizen and not a, a green card holder, who was a target of an authorized terrorism investigation, then they could collect the phone records and the email records of the people that the foreigner had been contacted, whether it was a U.S. person or a foreign person, and be able to work from there. So it goes from who the authorized target was to the people that he was plotting with, uh, rather than getting the haystack of trillions of calls and trying to find a needle in a haystack, which was obviously too big for them to manage. What have the folks in Wisconsin said to you about this NSA program? They are outraged. And you know, I took an awful lot of guff. Uh, as the author of the Patriot Act, because I thought that the Patriot Act would end up uh, being restricted by the FISA court and by the intelligence committees. Now, we found out yesterday that the FISA court was misled by the Obama Justice Department. The former uh, head of the House Intelligence Committee, Peter Hoekstra of Michigan, said that what Obama is doing is Bush on steroids. Well, it's about time uh, they got weaned off the steroids and got back to what the Constitution and law says. And if we've got to tighten up the laws, maybe even too tightly, in order to protect privacy and civil liberties, then so be it. All right, Jim Sensenbrenner, congressman from Wisconsin, and again, the Thank primary you. author of the Patriot Act. Uh, you're a little hot under the collar. We can see why. Thanks for joining well, us today. Well, it's hot here in D.C. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, it is. Thanks, congressman.